Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Nate Manus versus Jimmy Flick. Looking at it, Nate Manus 15 and 3, Jimmy Flick 17 and 7. Nate Manus 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 3 in his last three. I mean, 1 and 2 in his last three, sorry. Jimmy Flick 1 and 2 as well in his last ones. Again, Nate Manus has fought way better competition. Yes, Jimmy Flick has fought Nate Smith. Okay. Cody Durden, he beat him by a uh, flying knee and then a triangle. Um, lost to Charles Johnson by TKO KO after he came back, after retiring. Got destroyed by Costa. And then beat Malcolm Gordon, who is an absolute quitter and is trash. Nate Manus, even though he's 15-3, and three, he's fought Luke Sanders, Tony Gravely, who's underrated. Uh, lost to Umar, which, okay. And then lost to Tager Ulanbekov. Not bad at all. And then beat um, um, Mateus Mendoka, who had a terrible strategy. Nate Manis, minus 400, 4-1 four to one favorite. That's because Jimmy Flick gets hit a lot. He gets dropped a lot. Kind of depends on his durability. Uh, Nate Manis, 32 years old, 5'10", with a 72-inch reach. Jimmy Flick, like I said, plus 3'10", 33 years old, 5'7", with a 68-inch reach. 3 inches in height. 4 inch reach advantage for Nate Manus. I think this is damn near a lock for Nate, Nate Manus unless he just starts scrambling around for Jimmy Flick and Jimmy's able to lock up a submission. Nate Manus wins this fight 100% lock. This one and Jekka big locks. As always subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys are picking. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.